Shoot a Breeze topic number two says, can we use hip hop to promote and get our youth interested in African spirituality? Pete, this song. So I hope that uh, this song isn't copyrighted and I get a strike, but you know, I, I, I don't mind sharing it. So I'm going to share the screen. Let's go big screen. You guys take a listen and then we'll discuss it. My people with me in the swing and the drummers violence and they playing. Welcome to EMA Festival Day. We have an for say on the Sabbath. This is what we doing for balance. I call me the right of passage. The art of accepting the challenge. Wandering like a reborn libation, feel the vibration, we dance in a circle, reverse the rotation, spin like the planets in haven, go with the flow of creation, resonating with the greatness, none of known in the Abba song, coming to earth with a statement, partially coding the language, taking heed to the message, learning a spiritual lesson, deity verbal expression, this is profession within our cultural lexicon, we call it a temple possession, when they take a leap of faith, bless them, we gon' be right there to catch them safely, someday gonna call me crazy, carry baby from the Daily working my conscience from what the force swing with my pen like a sword, fighting for love and for honor till it's time for me to journey on farther for the day mission to us among the world. And y'all may go, I'm gonna follow. <laughs> People with me and they sing and the drummers violence and they playing. Welcome to EMA Festival Day. We have an alpha say on the Sabbath. This is what we doing for balance. I call me the right of passage. The art of accepting the challenge. <laughs> Argue with the truth of the past, the present, the future. Proverb like a tutor, teaching us how to maneuver. Remember that none of the living were there in the very beginning of this great panorama. Nobody will be in the ending except the source of Inyama, the one that we call Inyame, the one we call Odem and Koma, the one that we call Arade, the one we call Onyakapona. We must be made in your image, embedded in our genoma, and pumping through every coma. My people with me and they sing and the drummers violence and they playing. Welcome to EMA Festival Day. We have an alpha say on the Sabbath. This is what we doing for balance. I call me the right of passage. The art of accepting the challenge. <laughs> We don't argue with the truth of the past, the present, the future. Proverb like a tutor, teaching us how to maneuver. Remember that none of the living were there in the very beginning of this great panorama. Nobody will be in the ending. It's the source of Inyama, the one that we call Inyame, the one we call Odem and Koma, the one that we call Arade, the one we call Onyakapona. We blessed to be made in your image, embedded it in our genoma, and pumping through every coma. Cool, cool, cool. I like it. I, I I would have mixed it a little differently, but I like it. Um, we should be able to hear, you know, more of this kind of messaging in our music. We should be, uh, you know, peace out uh, to Hash Rally Podcast. That's D-Web. Peace to him. I know he's a hip-hop head. Check out his Hip-Hop High Society channel, too. Uh, uh on social media. Um, so th this was cool. I, I'm curious to see what what my uh, other panelists say about this. Let's start with confidence again. Confidence, how do you feel when you 
when you just heard that song? Okay, Confidence might be having more problems with that mute button. So, Buana, it's on you. Uh, can no, we use hip hop? Absolutely. You know, um, hip hop music, hip hop music is one genre of black music that could be used to promote all manner of things. It can be used to educate, it could be used to teach young people. It's been used to teach black people about how to be materialistic. It's been used to teach black people how to be perverse. So obviously it could teach that, that it's a tool that could be used to teach. And just like band, dance all has been used to teach all these things as well, by the way. But the music could also be used to promote good things and educate people about good things. There are some that this, I, I don't know. I, like I said, I think that hip hop is just one genre of music. Um, just like Afro beats. Just like reggae, just like rake and scrape, just like zook, just just like some all manner of black music, you know, could be used to teach many different kinds of things. It's just what the writers decides to do with the tool of the genre of music that they decide to participate in. And so far, you know, hip hop was is is been was been, was used as a tool uh, for good in the world. But when money became involved in it, it became something a little bit different. But I am not a big listener of hip hop. I maybe a hip hop head should come and speak on things like this, you know. But um, I like I say, I think that the music could be used for different kinds of things, many different kinds of things, and uh, the um, the power is in the hands of the writers and the music makers. So I'll leave it there. Bueno, before you go, uh, I, I I know you just said you're not a big hip hop head, but. What are your thoughts on that song that you just heard? It um, was okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it, I, I feel like that person is really trying to promote their music. He, he's a good rapper. And like you say, I think that the beat could have been a little bit, it, it could have been different. It could have been different. Um, my, here's the thing. When you, when you make music, right? For everyone, if you're trying to, make the audience your people, if you're trying to direct that music towards a specific audience, you must know your audience. You must understand your audience so well so that you understand how to communicate with them. When you're, telling, when you're teaching people about African languages and African gods, you have to break things down to an extremely elementary level for them to be able to understand and digest what's being conveyed to them. Or else they'll go over the heads. They'll go way over the heads. When people hear about uh, about the god Nyame, they don't know who Nyame is. All they've been knowing about is Jesus for their entire lives. So you have to be able to create the connection why Nyame is important to the mind of the listener of this song. How does Nyame connect with me? You know, Explain to me who this who this God Niyami is. You know these things need to be explained at an elementary level, because most of your listeners have not been educated to a degree where they can digest these kinds of ideas, and because they have not been exposed to them. And I feel like sometimes our cultural writers and our cultural artists sometimes they speak over the heads. Are the people who they actually trying to reach? The reason why a Nicki Minaj and a Cardi B is able to reach a lot of people in the community is because they speak in on a very elementary level. Even though they perverse or what they say, everyone who listening to their dialogue and their writing can understand what it is they saying. That's the difference. Our cutoff, I feel, sometimes is we speak over. The community in which we're trying to reach, but it's I, it's nothing wrong with the song itself. It's just like you say, you ask me my opinion. That's my opinion. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's okay to. I think it's okay. You know, th this whole thing that you know critiques are bad. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think you should get feedback. I think you should seek. Now, you you might not want to hear from everyone, so you gotta be measured as to who you get feedback from. 
if you play this for, like you said, Bono, for the average youth out there, they'll probably reject it and say it's trash. But they don't understand the concepts being discussed, the, the, the major concept being discussed in the song. So you got to spoon feed them a little bit, prime the pump, as we would say, right? You got to prime that pump and kind of get them to that place. You know, this yeah, is Yeah, T-shirt, Nyame, Nyame was before Yahweh. You know what I mean? Make that kind of connection. Nyame, we were saying Nyame before we were saying Yahweh. You know what I mean? So you got to break it down. You got to break it down. <laughs> you, you can put out an album. It will be started. <laughs> Uh, it, it seems like confidence is back. Hold that thought for a second, confidence. Uh, let me just take it back. Earlier I said they might be playing with the stream, but according to who dropped the two, it seems like those numbers might have been accurate at the time. Uh, while I'm at it, let me shout out Brother Bakari. Brother Bakari is quietly out there in the chat. I appreciate you, Bakari. Trust me, I do. Um, Daily Affirmation says, we as Bahamians tend to separate and assimilate. Is that for this prompt or earlier prompt? I'm not certain which one, but thanks for the comment still and keep them coming. Uh, Confidence, you wanted to weigh in on this uh, song that we just listened to? Yeah, I was, I was gonna criticize it, but uh, then I started hearing the, the my, my first critique was that it didn't have African language and then it, it started to have African language. So I don't, I don't have nothing bad to say about it. It started. It started in a conversation. Um, it's, it seems like the people are already into the spirituality, so maybe this could be aimed at their children. And you know, they probably do events. And I, I know Nayami Day that might be connected to what uh, Khalid Abdul Muhammad started. Uh, I know there's a to replace Thanksgiving. I think. So that's that's my initial thoughts that they're doing something with the children and having a holiday, and it's connected to the Khan and Ghana uh, culture and spirituality. So it's starting a conversation, and it grows over time. So and they're, they're promoting that language. It's, it seemed like something for the children to memorize and internalize, and I think it's a <clears throat> something that should grow over time. But it's a conversation starter too. So uh, feedback. So I, I like it. Uh, <coughs> I like it a lot. So no, nothing too much to say. Yep. Appreciate that confidence. Uh, you know, why I said earlier, maybe a hip hop head should speak on it. Well, we got one. D Web, how are you this week? I'm well, man. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I, loud and clear. Did you uh, hear that song, D Web? Yeah, I had to rewind it. I had to rewind the podcast a little bit. I didn't catch the whole thing but uh, i caught the gist of it um i want to say that just from a strictly musical standpoint um the lyrics of course um very deep when they you know what they were talking about things like that however you know i think that i think the beat was a, a bit lackluster um i'm not sure if it was the recording or you know the platform you was playing off of maybe a, playing a recording of a recording on a podcast but it didn't sound like it was mixed very well um but you know, I, I applaud them for what they're trying to do. Um, and I think going back to what Buana said, um, you may have to start at a bit of more kind of elementary level um and meet people where they are. Um, particularly when it comes to if you're trying to promote some with the youth, the youth are very um very, you know, subject to peer pressure and subject to what's the trend of the day. Um, so you kind of have to, you know, and I hate to say I hate to use this term, but sometimes you gotta dumb things down a little bit. Um, so you can start, you know, um, the big thing, we all start off with like nursery rhymes, right? Nursery rhymes are pretty much, you know, set up so you can learn a basic concept in, in an easy manner. You know, old McDonald had a farm, yeah, yeah, old type stuff. Um, I think you, if you're going to try to target the youth, you maybe need to come from a more simplistic type of deal or even more catchy or even throw a little bit something more trendy in there for them so they can kind of catch it and run with it if you're trying to promote this to a mainstream type deal if you're fine being like niche you know where us in this panel our children have something that they can maybe listen to 
you know, that that's 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 where you want to go. You know, I even know like people's like hardcore Christians who only let the kid listen to like Christian rap and stuff like that. So there are niches like that already out there. So it just depends on where you're trying to go with it. If you're trying to push it to mainstream, or whatever, then I you know, you got some work to do. But if you're trying to find like some niche, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, people that's already in tune for some for their for them to promote to their kids. You can listen to the car while you ride or something. That's kind of, you know, that that work good for that vein. So that's what I got on that, bro. I appreciate that. Web. Yeah, when I listened to it musically, I I got the impression that it was just a loop that he just rhymed on because there's some, and, and Lero is a musician too. There's some risers in there with the snare uh, that doesn't work with the lyrics at the time. So that's one thing I want uh, conscious creatives to keep in mind that you do have to have polish um everything is a production so you do have to produce it you gotta mix it well you know you gotta make sure that it suits the lyrics you know all that kind of thing uh you know so keep those things in mind and we can actually do something through this medium of music and the arts in general but you got to remember some of the rules, I think. Um, does anyone else want to add any last thoughts to this prompt? If not, let's go to shoot the race topic number three. Webb, thanks for joining us. I hope you'll hang around with us for a bit. As um, it's kind of a quiet night tonight on Shoot the Breeze, I find.